The deeper I fall into the anime hole, the less likely I am to leave my cozy little otaku hovel. I wonder what effect that will have. Praising a show that portrays this kind of lifestyle as being acceptable or potentially even desirable. Recovery of an MMO Junkie is a love story for the modern age. Ooh, he said the M word! Morioka's decision to drop out of the corporate world to play MMOs all day works for her, and the series makes it a point to say that that choice is beautiful and valid. Because it's a show that ponders otakus! Notice the bright flowers. Uh-oh. The brightness of the bouquet, which we can assume was a going away present, both serves as a reminder that there are elements of working life that Morioka could potentially find comforting or hard to leave, i.e. her co-workers, and contrasts the darkness of her outfit, which helps emphasize how out of place and distant she feels from the rest of that community. Or it's a bunch of flowers! In the physical world, she has social anxiety, lack of self-confidence, a body she isn't happy with, etc. But in Fruit de Mer, she's able to create a character who lets her express her best self, because who wouldn't want to be a hot guy if given the choice, am I right? And that's why anime nowadays are all about escapism. There are three possibilities. Oh boy. Either Morioka is overestimating her own ability to handle the corporate world, or she's intentionally lying to Hearth, or she's lying to herself and trying to believe that office work is what she really wants to do. Or this is all just speculation that can mean anything you want it to mean! Hayashi represents a complete separation of her virtual and physical lives. He's everything she isn't and everything she wants to be. Handsome, confident, capable... And now you see why so many love the idea of getting trapped in video games! Their relationship is shown through some very clever and playful light symbolism. Because symbolism makes it seem like it's more than otaku pandering! See here how the colors are bright and pleasant, and we can perfectly see this beautiful mountainscape through the bright sunlight in-game. This represents a transition from where Morioka was trying to find happiness before, in her job, to where she's trying to find it now, in-game. That's important visual symbolism. It's just a bunch of mountains! Stop forcing yourself to be something you're not. An analyst. And that's part of what takes MMO Junkie from being a good show to being a great one. Fucking modern anime.